After an incident during which several workers were severely wounded, the factory employees burst into the offices to demand justice because their boss has refused to take responsibility. Soon things get violent as the employees begin breaking down anything they can find. When the police finally arrive, the employees push against them, and Mihao jumps on an officer to start beating him up. More cops come after him to subdue him and arrest him. Sometime later, the video of Mihao's arrest is still online and teenagers like to laugh at it. This makes Mihao's daughter Selma snap and she grabs a bunch of horse poop to rub it on her classmate's face. After a talk with the headmaster, her mother Elise doesn't know what to do anymore, Selma has been acting out since her parents got divorced and Mihao was sent to jail, although recently he was released with an ankle monitor. One night while staying with her dad, Selma watches the news and learns that in Latin America they're experiencing a rain a thousand times more acidic than normal, which has killed thousands of wild animals. This rain has been caused by pollution and global warming and scientists predict it'll reach the northern hemisphere soon. The next day it begins raining heavily and Elise realizes that Selma left the window of her room open, so she puts a towel on the floor to take care of the water. Then she falls asleep on her daughter's bed, not noticing the towel starting to lose color. The following day, it isn't rainy but it's still very cloudy, and people closely follow the news because rain keeps appearing in random spots in the country. At work, Mihao notices the wet ground has a weird consistency. At that moment he gets a call from Elise, who wants to pick Selma up from school early because she's worried about the rain problem. Since her car is in the garage, Mihao will have to drive her. However when they make it to the school they learn the class has gone for a horse ride and the students left their phones behind. They take the road to the forest to find Selma, but all the parents have thought the same thing and there's a traffic jam that won't let them pass. Huge dark clouds are already forming above the forest, so Mihao desperately drives off the road to find his daughter. Meanwhile Selma isn't a very good rider so she's stuck in the forest while her classmates move ahead. A few raindrops begin to fall, burning the sticks on the ground and hurting the horses, who run away in panic and make Selma fall. When Mihao and Elise get close enough to the forest, they realize there's no room for the car to go through, so Mihao gets out of the vehicle and continues on foot, searching the stables first where the poor horses are going crazy. Selma is also running and soon she finally makes it back, reuniting with her father when he comes out. They hurry up and manage to enter the training building right before it starts raining. Some drops manage to get through the holes in the ceiling, burning the ground. Mihao searches for some blankets they can use to cover themselves while he calls Elise to tell her their location. It's hard for Elise to drive because the heavy rain is affecting visibility, but eventually she finds the building and parks outside so that Mihao and Selma can get in. As they return to the road, they can hear people screaming in pain caused by the acid rain. Eventually they find the road blocked again, and they can't go back because cars lining up behind them, all of them with their paint melting away. When Elise finds an opening, she drives to the right, only to get stuck in a different section of the traffic jam. This allows some people to pull at their doors and a guy with a heavily damaged face even manages to get in, but Mihao immediately kicks him out and makes sure to lock the doors properly. Then Elise finds another opening and drives again as fast as possible, pushing a bunch of cars out of the way in the process. Selma can't take the panic anymore and has a breakdown as she watches the paint on the ceiling change colors. Moments later it finally stops raining, and the area is covered in bodies and objects that were melted down by the acid. The family stops at the parking lot of a supermarket and takes a bunch of clothes and blankets to cover themselves in the car. Elise calls his brother at work, but he can't join them because they've blocked the roads. Mihao tries calling his girlfriend, but he only gets the voicemail. For the next few hours, the family drives away intending to leave the country, which lots of people are trying to do. In the evening, the car finally stops working because of all the acid damage, and the back door is stuck. Mihao kicks it a couple of times to open it while telling Selma not to breathe in case any acid splatters. Afterward the family wanders around until they find an abandoned building. Mihao makes sure there aren't other people inside and is surprised to discover the place decorated for a party that couldn't be. There's also a cat stealing party food and Selma wants to pet it, but Elise stops her because there may be acid on its fur. Mihao finally manages to contact his girlfriend and confirm she's fine, but soon he loses signal. The tap water is running, but they can't be sure if it's safe so Mihao puts some in a bowl and leaves it for the cat to test it. Selma gets angry at using the poor animal like that and immediately empties the bowl in the sink. At least Elise has found some bottled water and let Selma have it. Then they use some foil trays and tape to cover their feet for extra protection. Minutes later the bowl appears melted, meaning the tap water isn't safe. The only thing in the fridge is alcohol and party food, so they have that for dinner. Selma is worried because she doesn't think they can survive on foot, and when her parents try to discuss ideas, an argument ensues. They yell at each other without hearing Selma asking them to stop, and Mihao gets so angry that he breaks a glass and leaves the room. Later they go to sleep, but they can hear drops of rain sneaking through weak spots on the ceiling. Selma can't sleep and decides to look for the cat, only to find a trail of blood that takes her to the poor kitty's dead body. Upset, Selma goes back and lies down with her mother for comfort. The next morning, the family returns to the road. It isn't raining for now, and lots of other people are also trying to leave the country on foot. 
The crowd gets bigger the more hours that pass, and when they finally find the bridge, there are dozens of people and cars stuck. It turns out the police are blocking the way and only allow small groups of people to pass every few minutes for safety reasons. The crowd doesn't care and keeps on pushing against each other, causing Elise to split from her family. When the police finally allow another small group to pass, Elise is pushed forward as well. She tries to tell the cops that her family is out there, but they don't care and make her keep going. As she crosses the bridge, she discovers there's a huge hole in the middle, explaining the police's attitude. The crowd is getting more forceful by the second and Selma almost gets crushed, so the police have to shoot tear gas to make them back off. At that moment the bridge makes a weird noise and when the group looks up, they discover the bridge is crumbling down. The falling debris immediately kills a few people and the rest starts running back, but the people at the front haven't caught on and still push to cross, causing both crowds to clash. Elise tries to reach her family, but she's stuck among the pushing bodies, and all this chaos causes the railing to break. A few people fall into the water including Elise, whose skin immediately begins burning because of the acid. Selma notices this and leaves the bridge to run to the shore, desperate to rescue her mother. However Mihao follows her and stops her right before she touches the water, so now they must watch in tears how Elise's dead body floats away. Since the bridge can't be used anymore, the police take the rest of the crowd to a military base. Mihao gets to call his girlfriend, but Elise's brother won't answer. Then the crowd is divided into various military trucks and they share the little bottled water they have during the trip. Eventually the trucks find the road blocked, so the soldiers make everyone get out of the vehicles to continue on foot, using red smoke as a signal so nobody will get lost. At that moment they notice the dark clouds approaching, so they begin running as fast as they can. Selma is weak and keeps on tripping, so Mihao has to help her up and support her as they move. This delay causes them to lose the crowd, but thankfully Mihao finds a tunnel nearby and quickly digs out all the leaves and dirt to make enough room for them to hide right before the storm starts. There's so much rain falling that some of it is getting into the tunnel and melting the dirt, so Mihao and Selma have to keep moving in the dark. Mihao eventually slips and falls, causing some acid humidity to make him bleed. Moments later, they finally find the tunnel exit. It has stopped raining, but Mihao's phone has no battery to call for help. The duo keeps on traveling for hours and eventually finds a few houses, but nobody is answering Mihao's desperate knocking. Exhaustion and pain finally take over him and he passes out on the ground, so Selma cries out in the middle of the street begging for help. When Mihao wakes up, he discovers he's inside one of the houses belonging to Deborah and her son. Deborah shares some bottled water and clean clothes with them, but she refuses to share her food because she only has enough for herself and the boy. Selma wanders around the house and finds a room full of acid stains with a strange machine protected by plastic. When she's about to touch it, Deborah stops her, explaining it's important for her son's dialysis. Mihao volunteers to help her bring the machine downstairs so the boy won't be exposed to the acid. Deborah is so grateful that she accepts to share some food with them and let them stay the night. Then Mihao borrows an axe and tries to get into the neighbor's house, but the dark clouds are coming so he must hurry back before he can make any progress. The storm starts going wild outside and Deborah knows the house won't hold, so she makes a hard decision. Mihao chooses to sleep in the garage instead of a room for safety, and once he and Selma are settled, Deborah secretly locks their door. Then she goes to lie down with her son to sing him to sleep while waiting for the end. Soon many spots around the house begin melting, especially the water taps. The paint stains the walls as if it were blood and a horrible smoke begins coming out of the heater. Mihao and Selma wake up to the noise of the house slowly coming apart and try to check on their hosts, only to find the door locked. As the toxic fumes start reaching Deborah and the boy, the upper floor finally crumbles and Mihao has to drag Selma away from the door while she yells the boy's name. She doesn't want to abandon their new friends, but Mihao just pushes her into Deborah's car before opening the garage and driving away. It's extremely dark out there and Mihao tries his best to drive fast with only the front lights as a guide. The car is electrical and the computer voice keeps announcing the systems are failing to the point it forces the car to stop for the safety of its passengers. Mihao hits it a few times to make it work again and continues to drive with no destiny in mind. After traveling for hours with no rain, they find nothing but more open fields and Mihao stops the car. Selma tries to make him admit he's lost and Mihao snaps, yelling at her before getting off the car. Soon Mihao's leg starts burning, so he returns to the car and finds Selma gone. She's trying to run away but also has trouble with the burning ground, so she climbs on top of a sinking structure. Mihao hears her scream and drives toward her, but the car also begins to sink in the mud so he has to continue on foot. He reaches Selma just in time and carries her on his back, meaning his legs get severely burnt as he moves. They manage to reach the car again and climb on top of it, where Mihao passes out. The next morning, Selma wakes up when she hears a truck and discovers the military has come to rescue them. The duo is taken to a safe shelter and Mihao is given medical care while Selma asks about her uncle. They don't find him in any shelter datibs, but they do find the name of Mihao's girlfriend, who sadly is dead. When Selma is finally allowed to see her dad, she offers her comfort and decides not to give him the bad news yet.